In this video we're going to look at probability distributions and functions. So to start with, um, we've got here a problem that says two tetrahedral dice are rolled and the scores are added. Find the sample space, uh, the probability distribution and probability function for the outcomes. So two tetra uh, tetrahedral dice are going to be four-sided. Um, so I'm going to do a sample space to start with and I'm going to use a grid to show this. So I can, um, I've got dice one where I can get a score of one, two, three or four. And then I've got dice two where again I can get a score of one, two, three or four. So this resulting grid then is my sample space. It says the scores are added so I can show the results that are obtained when adding. So there we go, so there is our sample space, so there are 16 outcomes, of which some of those outcomes um, have the same value. So find the sample space uh, which we've done, the probability distribution. Um, so I'm going to say, we'll let one of the outcomes be x, and then we're going to look at the probability that x is equal to x. So what this means basically is what is the probability that um, when we roll a dice which is represented by the capital X um, what is the chance that we get each specific outcome so what can we get well we can get anything from 2 to 8 so what is the probability of getting each of these well um, there is 1 2 out of 16 outcomes uh, there are two threes, there are three fours, there are four fives, uh, there are three sixes, there are two sevens, and there is one eight. So this then is the probability distribution as it tells me what is the probability of each of these different outcomes happening. And then the final thing I must do is find um, a probability function. So that is basically to write this information in a different way. So I'm going to write the uh, probability that x is equal to x. Um, and then I've got one, two, three, four uh, different outcomes. And that actually means I'm going to use uh, five lines here to represent it. Because what probabilities have I got? Well. Um, a probability of 1 16th occurs when x equals 2 or x equals 8. I've got a probability of 2 16th when x is 3 or 7. 3 16th when x is 4 or 6. 4 16th when x is 5. And I've got a probability of 0 for any other result. So I can just say 0 for anything other than those values for x. So second question, um, here I have a probability distribution um, written as a function and I want to find the value of k. So if I look here I'm told that for two values of x um, I've got kx and for two other values of x it's k multiplied by x plus 1 otherwise it's zero. Now I should know that the sum of all probabilities is one so I'm going to substitute each of these values in so I know uh, 2k plus 3k plus k lots of 1 plus 1 plus k lots of 4 plus 1 is equal to 1 uh, and then I'm going to simplify that so 2k plus 3k is 5k uh, and then that's becomes 2k, this becomes 5k, so I then get 12k equals 1 and therefore k is 1 12th. 